Alright, what up guys? Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to get the official 3.0 software for your iPhone 2G, 3G, or your iPod Touch first or second generation. Um, this is very um, cool because we get it five days earlier than everyone else. And this is the final form, or the final version. Um, it's not a beta. So this is going to be the one that is going to be released on the 17th of this month. So we're going to get it five days before everyone else practically. Um, so here we go. This is the final form, as I said, and it's not the beta version. Um, it's not the beta version. So here we go. So the first thing you need is you need the the software itself, which is pretty simple. Um, I'll have the link to the download in the description to, I think, the right of the video. So go look there. And iTunes um, 8.2. Um, I have the beta version of 8.2 because if you upgrade to the full version, or I mean the final uh, version of 8.2, uh, you won't be able to use QuickPone and Quick Freedom and stuff to jailbreak your your um, iPod or your iPhone. So get the beta version, and you can still use all those um, jailbreaking uh, tools. So the beta version is the best thing. Um, because you can upgrade to 3.0 and jailbreak your iPod so you can get City and stuff. So um, you need 8.2 no matter what to upgrade to 3.0 though. Uh, that's all I'm saying. And um, so the link is um, here. I'll go. I'll go to it right now. It's imodzone.net/slash/download. I'll have this link in the description also. So, or I mean, actually, this is the only link that you'll need. <laughs> so here we go. Here's iTunes 8.2. Um, just select whatever you have. If you have a 64-bit, choose there. If you have a Mac, choose there. So just choose whatever you have and install it. And when you have iTunes 8.2 pre-release installed or, or the official if you want it, this is the pre-release as you can see right there and um, whatever you have if you have the iPhone iPod touch so I have the iPod touch second gen and make sure this says golden master because that is the final version that they're gonna release and just click download and save it to your desktop so I don't need that anymore so I have it right there as you can see alright now just connect your iPod via USB so connect it um, with the USB and you put your iPod into DFU mode and if you do not know what DFU mode is um, I'll show you right now so practically all you're doing is you're holding the power button and the home button down at the same time for about 10 seconds and after 10 seconds release the power button and keep on holding the home button for another like 8 seconds so I'm not gonna be able to do it. I'm not gonna do this because I already have 3.0 um, on my iPod. But um, so all you do is you hold both of them down for 10 seconds, and then you release, and then you, you'll get it. So um, you'll hear the you'll hear the noise on your computer also. And when you're when you are in DFU mode, there should be a a like oops sorry about that there should be like something on your um iTunes if you're connected to iTunes it will say um that you need to restore it which that's what you want so that's what it, a little notice will pop up on iTunes so that's when you know you're in DFU mode all right when you're in DFU mode all you have to do is you have to hold the shift key and click restore at the same time so i'm going to do that right now Pardon me. Alright, when you do that, you'll get this. This allows you to choose your own um, like software, I guess. And you just click the 3.0 firmware that you downloaded. And make sure you let it extract and everything. Um, after you have it, um, it will just do everything itself. And uh, you'll have the official 3.0 uh, software before everyone else. Um, I'll make a review on it in like uh, after this video actually and I'll tell you what I think of it and uh, 
thank you for watching guys um i'll make some more videos soon um so subscribe and uh stay tuned thank you for watching